Hi everybody, I'm HP and today I'm going to talk about basic jazz chords. What's that? That's what I'm playing here just at uh, as I'm speaking. Oops. So, these are the chords I'm talking about, but um, we want to, since uh, we're going into a really pretty um, complicated topic, jazz, you need some knowledge uh, to really pull out what you need out of this lesson. And uh, this is uh, to play the chords, not so hard, but to, um, I want to talk about uh, the theory behind it, and you need to, the way you uh, at least as the minimal requirements understand uh, where they come from, how you use them, and stuff like that. So, let's check it out. Good, so um, let's start now with a, a little bit with some theory. What I played before, this series here, is called diatonic chord progression. So let's see uh, what that means, diatonic means. It's inside a scale, in this case the major scale, in this case the F major scale, which is this one here, as you might know. Maybe you never have played uh, the major scale on one string, but that doesn't matter. I'm just doing it this way, because this way you have kind of an optical hint uh, or an op op uh, optical thing where you really can see um, the chords behind it. So you could also play the scale here, as my, most of you by do, or any of them. It's all the same. But it's just now the notes of the scale, and this, that's why it's called diatonic, because it's inside a scale. In this case, F major scale. Now comes a trick. <coughs> to build chords, we just, we just put one triad after another one. So if you, you're in the scale, one, two, three. So here's the next note. This is the triad. Four, five, here's, here's the fifth. Six, seven, here's the seventh. And putting, playing those four notes all at the same time results in chords. In this case, on the first position, F major 7 chord, which is grabbed like this. It's like an A minor and you put the index finger above it. A string is damped. On the second step, or second note, uh, this results into a G minor 7, which is played like this. You make a bar here with the ring finger and go with the middle finger above it and damp the A string. On the third note, which is the A in this case, this results also in a minor 7 chord. So the same thing again. On the fourth note, it results in a major 7 chord, B flat major 7. On the fifth, this, this results in a seventh chord, in this case, a, no, not a, a C7 chord. It goes like this. See? On the sixth note, this results in a minor 7 chord, in this case, D minor 7. On the seventh, this results in a minor 7 flat 5 chord. Oh, it's a little bit tricky up here. So, 12, 12, 12. 11 and then up here it starts again from the first this f major 7 again so we have these chords f major 7 g minor 7 a minor 7 b flat major 7 c7 d minor 7 e minor 7 flat 5 and f major 7 good so what we do this with this <laughs> We can play prog so-called progressions. What are progressions? Now, if you uh, if you want to build a song, every song is built on a chord progression, which is uh, in the basic form inside a scale. In this case, will be F. And so, um, the the very first and very easiest progression which ever uh, exists is the classical cadence, which is one, four. Five back to one, but not in uh, fourths. As you can play them with triads, like F major. This is the original classical cadence, but in jazz, it's with major seven, major seven, seventh, and one. 
and from this you create other kind of progressions like uh, one, two, five, one, or maybe one, six, two, five, whatever comes to your mind. The main thing that's that somehow the the fifth step here, the C seven, is the the the, um, the dominant chord, and this one should uh, be at the end or should not be a, can be at the end of a progression because this leads strong as back to the first so it starts on the first and most or less it ends on the first not all, all the time but most of the time so you can play any kind of and as soon as you go to the fifth that goes back to the one now you have seen um, jumping around like this is not really pleasant so there are now comes the trick um, this is now the diatonic chord progression. Now we're talking about so-called voicings. Voicings is uh, any types of uh, ways you can play the chord, those four notes I was mentioning at the beginning of the tutorial. So the, the, the root note, the triad, the fifth and the seventh. So this here, this F major seven is a one, seven, three, five voicing. Why? Because first we have the root note, then here we have the seventh, then we have the the, the um, triad, and here we have the fifth. Now we want to have some other voicings because um, we don't want to jump around like this. Now we can do the same thing again on the A string. We play a major scale. This case is the B major scale. Now we create um, the voicings which are uh, available here. And this leads to these voicings. So this is a B-flat major 7 chord as a 1, 5, 7, 3 voicing. See? And this is this. So when we when you look at this in B-flat, this is the first. And in any other key, on any, any step, they're the same chords. So on the first is a major 7, on the second is a minor 7, on the third is a minor 7, on the fourth is a major 7, on the 5th is a 7th, on the 6th is a minor 7, on the 7th is a minor 7 flat 5. And here we are. So, how we grab them, they're pretty easy. Here, here comes the middle finger, here ring finger, pinky. That's the major 7. I use that one very often, I like the sound of this one. And you hear it's a different sound from the voicing as this one here. This is also B flat major 7. This is because it's another voicing. See? Sounds different. Then the minor 7 is no problem it's with the body here and here. With the middle finger and ring finger. Move it up. Again, the major 7. 7th. And minor 7. And minor 7 flap. Oh, the 7th is like a body here. And here we have the ring finger finger and the pinky. Here we have minus 7. Here we have the minus 7 flat 5. Is here like this. And again on 1. Now there's a question. What's now the difference between them? Um, now, no. First, do, now we do the progression as before in F, but we, we use different voicings. We have 1, 6, 2, Five. Now we want to choose the other voicings. Now we take one. The six was a D minor seven, but we choose the other voicing now. This one from the B flat series. So one, six, two, and instead of going up, we again use the seventh voicing of the B flat series. Leads to this C seven. So we have one, six, two. Five. I'm gonna play the, the first one and then you can compare it. One, six, two, five. One, six, two, five. Now you all already have a variation, and now you can decide your own which one you like more. I would prefer the smooth one, <laughs> this one here. Or you can play the progression in a different position. 
uh, as a variation you don't start up down here you put the you choose the f major 7 chord from the b flat series that will be this one here then we take the d minor from the f series the g minor from the b flat series and the c7 from the f series so then it leads to this variation So one, six, two, five, one, six, two, five. Now we play the same progression but with different voicings and we have a pretty uh, much different sound. And that's what it's all about. And these are the basic chords because we don't have any additional uh, options. These are called options like uh, like 13, 9, 13, or flat 9, or sharp 9. We don't use them in this case, and they work on all chords which are named on any kind of standards you play. So when you read a standard and you see, I don't know, like autumn leaves, uh, C minor 7, F7, B flat 7, E flat. Uh, I play the autumn leaf progression um, as an example with a standard with the basic jazz chords and that already works. See? Sounds good. And uh, before you want to go a step further and add some options and all that stuff, you really need to know the basic chords very well. Good, I hope this little tutorial was of use for you to make a first steps for you to get become a really jazz cat. And everything additional you learn on jazz chords is based on the knowledge here of the diatonic chord progressions because there the chords come from. Here you have the first two versions of voicings which you can use and in many cases this is enough. Uh, if you just want to play like a basic rhythm guitar, this is really enough. I'm just using the basic chord, it sounds very jazzy. And then you just adapt it to the prog uh, progression and then you switch between the voicings and that's it. And then, uh, yeah, the rest is uh, don't have too nice shoes because my teacher always said um, you can see um, on the shoes of a guitar player if he is he, if he's a jazz cat or a rock cat. If you have like more fancy shoes, I have these here. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a jazz cat, <laughs> probably from the shoes because they're too fancy. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, yeah, check out your shoes. If you're the jazz cat, you have the more modest and. Uh, I would not say cheap, but a little bit. I, I guess all people have wear brown sh leather shoes or any kind of brown shoes would be more the jazz type, and like some cool sneakers would be more the rock or the blues type <laughs> guitar play. But still, uh, you can also play um, jazz with um, fancy shoes. <laughs> Good. So um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and get into jazz. Yeah.